Hello again. I was thinking a lot about my husband and my behavior with regard to wearing masks. We rarely go out. Of course, we're doing necessary things like going to the post office and picking up prescriptions. So we are using our masks. I was thinking a lot about the process of using masks and realized that if indeed it starts to collect virus, putting it on and taking it off and getting it all over the hands and things then becomes a concern when you're going back into the house with your mask. I hit upon the potential of a mask carry pouch. You put the mask in the pouch, you put your mask on in your car, go to the store, do whatever it is that you need to do, come back to your car, take your pouch, put your mask back into your pouch. When you come home, you put the pouch in the laundry along with the mask and then wash your hands for 20 seconds. Seems like it could be a smart measure rather than just kind of handling the mask. And so I came up with a tutorial, a very simple method of creating a little drawstring pouch and you make it out of maybe the same materials that you made your mask out of. I'm going to make it out of non-woven polypropylene, the same material that I use for my filter. So let's dive in. Here's a mask and my idea was that I wanted to make a pouch that would fit into a six by nine envelope for whenever I needed to mail a mask to somebody. So this piece of cardboard is about five and a half inches wide, about half a sheet of paper, and that will fit in this six by nine envelope. So it appears I can make a pouch about six inches high with about an inch extra for the drawstring casings and about a quarter inch seam allowance. But you should make your pouch using the dimensions of your own mask. For materials, of course, this is my favorite, the Oli Fun, which is non-woven, 100% polypropylene that happens to be the same kind of material that N95s contain. Now, not everyone's going to have this, and you may or may not be able to find it still at craft stores and at Walmart. So there's a couple of other options. I happen to have an old gown from the ER, and I might make it out of that. You can also probably make it out of your washable, reusable, paper-like shopping bags. These are also non-woven polypropylene, and you probably have a bunch of these around your house. If you're somebody who happens to be using reusable shopping bags to save the earth, etc. There's a number of other products out there that you can find that's made out of non-woven polypropylene. Just do a search on Google, or I bet you can find other videos on YouTube that are making masks that use items that are made out of non-woven polypropylene. Just look around. Okay, so the best thing to do really, is not what I just did, but you wanna fold your fabric and then put your pattern with the bottom edge of your pattern on the folded edge of your fabric, trace it, and then cut that out so that you end up with a long rectangle, just like that. And then you're gonna fold this over about a half an inch I'm eyeballing it, but it's probably better to measure. <laughs> and then sew a 3 8 inch seam on both ends. It can be smaller than that. Again, by the way, if you're going to use straight pins to hold your fabric together, make sure you're only pinning in the seam allowances. So I'm pinning where the drawstrings are gonna go. Okay, and now we've stitched both ends, maybe about 3 8 of an inch. And the next thing you're going to do is, this is the inside, we folded the edges over. And so we're going to fold the whole thing in half. We're going to sew two stitches down each side, starting from the seam all the way to the folded edge. Quarter inch on one side, quarter inch on the other side. And by the way, this stuff, the polypropylene, it doesn't fray. So I'm just gonna leave these edges raw I'm not gonna bother turning the thing inside out. But you can if you want to. 
So now we've stitched two sides. I didn't do a very good job making this even. <laughs> and now we're going to need the ties. I'm just using twine, plain old twine that I found in my crafts closet. I'm going to need two pieces of twine, approximately three times the width of the pouch. So here's 15 inches or so. I'm going to double that so that I have a 30 inch long piece and I need two. So I'm just going to use the first piece as a guide to cut the second piece. All right, and then I already did it with one end, but I'm going to knot all the ends a certain length. And it's kind of cool looking for the end beyond the knot to fray. I want to make the frayed ends the same length, a little cleaner looking. And of course, you can use whatever fabric you happen to have, ribbon, bias, cord, virtually anything. Okay, I'm going to take a skinny safety pin, something that's going to fit inside the casing of the drawstrings. And probably I'm gonna to have to poke this through the knot. Right, I'm gonna pass it through one end. Okay, and then using the pin, draw the tie all the way to the other end until you got half of it placed. And then you're going to go back Thread it through the other casing on the opposite side. And I'm going to knot both ends together. So you could just do this one knot if you want, but I found that first knot gave me a place to put the safety pin. Make your own groovy knot designs if you want. Okay, you're gonna do the exact same thing with the other drawstring, starting from opposite where the first drawstring ended up. Twine or skinny rope really works because of the way that you can finish the ends of these drawstrings. I think it looks really cool. And the mask with its ties, you'll notice that the top edge of the mask is obviously wider than the chin edge. It should fit right inside. And you just pull the drawstrings to close it. And there's your pouch. Again, I would say that you probably want to make this out of something that's at least as protective as whatever you're making your mask out of. Incidentally, I'm already thinking about an Ubermask 2.0, which I will create a video tutorial for next time, and maybe even an Ubermask Deluxe. I'd be grateful if you would like and share this video. Please subscribe with the red button so you can get updated and also help get more eyes on the channel and on these videos. It's more imperative than ever that we wear our masks and make masks for each other. Write me at cat at catgirl.club. Together maybe we can come up with ideas on how to end this lockdown thoughtfully, intelligently, and safely. See you next time.